like I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Buffing my nails, dog, I'm trying to get buff. Shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff. The hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gonna see though, I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. They say I got my pop's demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever the gang thriving together your boy striving to be the most dominant ever the hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and hold the comments because i promise you i'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right there they ain't cut from the same thread like him they don't study doing tonight from nissan stadium in nashville tennessee it's Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. As we'll see Kenny Pickett and the Tennessee Titans versus Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. By many accounts, one of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Tennessee Titans. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. And what a performance in his last game. A couple of touchdown passes, that was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game. On play action, Prescott forced out to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Credit the sack there to Harold Landry. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Prescott now. Johnson's got it complete. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it, but it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. 
give him nine on the return, and it'll be Titan football. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And leading him out is their fifth-year quarterback. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level, and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's the type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 16 carries, 68 yards. You know he's proud of his standing as the league's number three rusher, and those linemen in front of him, they're just as proud, but they all have the same goal in mind. Get him to number one in the league and celebrate a rushing title at the end of the year. That starts with a good game here. Now pick it. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll take this to the 46. You look at this Cowboy defense. They were quite formidable in the win over the Eagles a week ago. They held them to well under 200 yards of total offense. That's a number you can really focus on, too, because the way offenses run in today's game, they're usually pretty smooth, and they give you a lot of misdirection, a lot of trickery. They were able to hold in there and stuff them. Third and two, Pickett. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. On now is the Titans punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? The numbers for Johnson in last week's game, 18 carries, 99 yards. They put a lot of effort into game playing, establishing this ground game last week, and reward was a nice day rushing the ball. Helped them put a balanced offense out on the field. And that carry is an indicator that this ground game wants to be established again this week. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Play fake. Here's Prescott. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. To throw is Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Allen. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. You talk about this Titan defense. They come into this one in the bottom half of the NFL against the run, number 19 overall. Stopping the run, 
That's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Prescott on first down. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. From the red zone now, Prescott shakes off the sack. And that'll be incomplete with a penalty flag here on the field. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that thing go. Yeah, we kind of sensed that one. He got a little too far forward before throwing, and that one will set them back. And remember, the NFL level, being aware of where the line of scrimmage is, is crucial. And here's the other part. Any part of the quarterback's body that's near that line of scrimmage, he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. So he was clearly over the line. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now Prescott. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. First and goal from the three. They'll throw again. Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. It's picked up by the Titans. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Tennessee offense making their way out onto the field as you take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Henry again on second down. Despite some tough running, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. We're scoreless after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. They'll come up facing third and five. As they've got it as we resume action. On third down, Henry. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. On 
On now is the Titans punter, standing right on his own five-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And, partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Josh Allen in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. But Charles, this offense just can't seem to get off the ground. But the quarterback, he has to keep picking himself off the ground because this pass rush, they've been on him so far in a big way. Three sacks here in the first half. He might tell his offensive line, quit helping me up and just block the guys in front of you. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry, and he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of two. Second down and eight. Pick it, back to throw. And he's going to go down at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Micah Parsons in there to get him. It's a loss of five. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Looking to throw, pick it. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. On now is the Titans punter, standing just about on his own goal line. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score, second quarter as they come up on first and 10. They begin the drive with Johnson. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Prescott. 
Got his man there complete to Gallup. So eight yards on the completion there. And now we've got a third and three. Now Prescott. Now a screen set up for Johnson. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A first down throw for Prescott. That's to Schoonmaker, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. There's Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Throwing, Prescott. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Second down, Prescott. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down, it's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Aziz al Shear in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to find Gallup here complete. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now McManus will line up for the field goal from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by McManus is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there, and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. From the gun, here's Pickett. This will go to Henry out wide. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Pickett now to throw off the play fake. Phillips has it running the out route. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Henry's got it out on the left side. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On now is the Titans punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. 
How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. On first and ten, Prescott. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Prescott now on second down. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. A yard all they need, but it's third down. And again, it's Prescott. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. On first and ten, it's Pickett. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Now it's second and ten. Pickett. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Man, that is deflating going into the break. You're in a position with a chance to tie the game, but this kick is off the mark, and they're going to remain three points. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top as we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, where you see the final score there. Tyler Algier, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, it's up to Highmark Stadium to check in on the Bills. And it was the visiting Chicago Bears who come away with the victory. Josh Downs, a touchdown catch in the victory. And finally, a good one on Monday Night Football between the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs. In the game you're watching, you've seen a strong first half out of Dak Prescott. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. 
First and ten, here's Pickett. A check down here for Henry. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Pickett will look to throw it here. And that one to the right side and incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw, Pickett. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Micah Parsons, his second sack of the night. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. On now is the Titans punter, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. offense now they head out for their first possession of the second half and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going so what needs to change I think a lot of the guys will go back and review so to speak because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work okay what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game try and get back some of those plays as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up we'll see if they take the advice of mr De look at this middle of the field a breakaway and yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield a gain there of 21 yards Scott looks to throw on first. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he comes back with one complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. Prescott now from the 50. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. comes the Cowboys punter. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Tennessee offense set to go again. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Here's a second and eight. again with Henry just a couple on the pickup there and now it's third down working out of the gun it's Pickett and the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack Micah Parsons bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. 
really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player, one of the best individual efforts of the season. On now is the Titans punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And they will take over first and ten. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Here's Prescott. Looking for Allen, he's got him on the slam. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards there, just like last play. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. So the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside, make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Prescott yet again. Again, it's Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Final minute now of the third quarter. A give up the middle to Johnson. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Prescott now. And yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Back now in Nashville. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Now pick it. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And Henry going to have a Titans first down as he'll get this up past the 40. 
it's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. left it's Henry and they'll get this just to the 47 one yard gain ball on the 47 yard line here's second and nine here's Pickett he finds his man complete that's Phillips and he's gonna have another first down here as the tackles made at the Cowboys 37 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him now over 3,000 yards passing on the campaign. And Brandon, I think we have to start to think about where we are in the season because right now, 4,000 is not out of the question. I think a big game or two, he's certainly capable of getting that done. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll make it second down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. So no gain on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Dialing up another pass here. Pick it. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And he will have a Titans first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. it now on first down and Thomas has it the result only four yards there on the play and that'll bring up second down pick it back to throw he's got a man it's his tight end that's complete there's a first and ten at the 14 yard line Toss right to Henry. And they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Looking to throw, pick it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Henry will score. Touchdown, Tennessee. Time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. We may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run.
touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. The 25. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. First down, Prescott. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. Short pass. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery. Pick it. Thomas has got it. Complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll be second down. Looking to throw. Pick it. It's complete. Burks. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down, but they are in field goal range already. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Myers' kick is good. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get it to overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. And out now come the Cowboys. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Now Dak, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's Dak. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Josh Allen in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it 
or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. As of this moment, as pretty much everyone knows, they sit alone in that top spot, but nothing is guaranteed. They haven't even clinched the playoffs. So a good start, but a long way to go. And you know a blunt veteran inside their locker room has stood up at one point or another and said, you know, the, you know all of this means nothing so far. We've got to cover this, get it done. What do we want to be? It's like winning a title in August, right, in preseason. Doesn't count. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. Now a screen set up for Johnson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> you know, the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that. That's why they're able to get to him on it. Opening drive of overtime and now facing a third down at six. Big play coming up. Now Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Prescott off play action. Oh, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. What a big-time interception that is here on the first drive of overtime. And now, Charles, they're already knocking on the door with a short field. Remember, all they need is three points to win this game. And that thinking just can't limit them on offense. The playbook should still be wide open. Get a first down, maybe two. Do it safely. Nice throws that your quarterback can make. Nice runs that your running backs like. But make sure you get yourself into position and let your kicker have at it. Inside handoff, Henry. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 65 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. With that run, Charles, he passed Hall of Famer Curtis Martin for fifth all-time, over 14,100 yards rushing. I'm not sure what more he can accomplish. Well, in his mind, he thinks he can continue on and get up to number one on the all-time rushing list, but you're exactly right. What a career and what accomplishments. And to pass Curtis Martin, who is known by his Hall of Fame coach with the Jets and the Patriots as Wonder Boy, but that's a big-time deal. So if you're passing a guy that they called Wonder Boy, you're a heck of a player. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now we'll see what Pickett can do here in OT. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. Now a third and six. Pick it now from the gun here. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Micah Parsons make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. The downside for the defense is that they're dealing with a team that's in their red zone, but the upside, not much room to work with for the offense. Fewer windows in the zone for them to throw into. 
tough for a quarterback to get a throw off before the pressure ends up getting to him. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. And the defense is going to let him think about it a little as they use their second time out here. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And it'll be a hot time across the Cumberland tonight. The Titans have won it. Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So for the Titans, their very slim playoff hopes remain as they move to six and seven on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, it's a rare misstep as they'll drop to 11 and two on the year. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.